Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So insyaAllah tonight, I will go through the solutions for question number two of our test number one. The question says that the flow of water from a reservoir is controlled by a 6 meter wide L-shaped gate hinged at point A here as shown in the figure. So the gate is kept closed by putting a mass M, this is the mass M, at the end of a horizontal arm 2 meter from the hinge. So this is the arm 2 meter from the hinge. If it is desired that the gate to be open when the water height is 4 meter, determine the mass at B, where B is the end of the arm, when the gate is about to open. Okay, friction at the hinge and the weight of the gate are negligible. And we are also asked to include the free body diagram. So we have this gate, so we have a stopper here. When the Water level is 4 meter, the gate will start to open. So let, uh, first of all, draw the schematic diagram of the problem. So we have a reservoir, so this is the bottom part of the reservoir, and then this is the K. The gate is hinged here, okay, and we have a mess at the end here. And the water level is, so given that the height of the gate is 5 meter and this arm is equal to 2 meter and the water level is equal to 4 meter, right? And then the gate is hinged here. And then at the bottom here, there is a stopper. So consider the part of the gate which is submerged underwater. So if you view from normal view, we can see this is the part of the gate which is submerged. So whereby the width is 6 meter and then the height of the part gate which is submerged is equal to 4 meter. So the first thing is we need to determine where is the centroid, COG. So this is the COG. So that means that, uh, and this is also the COG. That means that this is our H bar. And we know that the hydrostatic force will be acting through the COP, which is slightly below the COG. So the hydrostatic force will be acting here. I call that one FH. So it will be acting through this point here, which we call COP, center of pressure. And the slanted distance, in this case, the vertical distance between the COG and COP is our YCP. Okay. So the force due to the mass will be acting here. And that will be equal to mg. Okay. And this is actually the normal area. So the first things that we can calculate is FH. FH, the hydrostatic force is equal to rho g h bar a. So we get h bar. h bar is the vertical distance from the COG to the water surface. So since this is 4, this is 2. And then the area, area of this gate, the normal area is 6 by 4 is 24 meters square. Uh, then we can directly calculate the hydrostatic force, which is rho is 1000, g is 9.81, h bar is 2. A is 24, so that gives us 470.88 kilonewton, right? Okay, then we can calculate YCP. Formula is IXX over H bar A because theta is 90 degree. So then we can calculate IXX. So IXX for a rectangle. 
is uh, the width multiplied by the depth cube over 12. So 6, 4 cube over 12. And that gives ISX equal to 32. So then we can calculate YCP directly. YCP is 32 over H bar is 2, A is 24. So that gives us 0 0.667 meter. Right. Okay. Then in order to obtain M, okay, so as I mentioned earlier, the moment has to be balanced. So the hydrostatic force will create a moment in the anti-clockwise directions, which will be equal to FH multiplied by this. Um, so I call that one R1. And then the weight will create a moment equal to mg multiplied by this arm. So I call this R2, right? So balancing moment about the hinge. So I must have fh multiplied by R1 must be equal to mg multiplied by R2, right? But what is R1? Okay, if you consider R1, R1 is distance from here to here. So we're going to be distance from here to here, which is just 1. And then distance from here to the COG, which is 2. And then plus YCT, right? So that's 1 plus 2 plus YCT. And that gives us 3.667 meter. Whereas R2, we know that it's equal to 2, right? So if we rearrange, then we have M is equal to FH multiplied by R1 divided by R2 and divided by G. So that gives us FH, we have already calculated just now, 470.88 kilonewton. R1 is 3.667 divided by R2 is 2, multiplied by 1 over 9.81. So that gives us M. The mass is 88008 kilogram. Okay, so if I recall just now what we did, so we calculate the hydrostatic force rho g h bar a, where h bar is the vertical distance from the COG to the water surface is 2, and the area a is the normal area of the submerged surface 6 by 4 is 24, so that gives us FH. Then YCP is IXX over H bar A, where IXX for rectangle is WD cube divided by 12, so it's 32, so we get YCP directly. Then finally, we just balance the movement, clockwise movement due to the weight is balanced by anti-clockwise movement due to the hydrostatic force, and the arms for the hydrostatic force will be this distance 1, plus the system 2 plus YCP, that gives us 3.667, whereas this arm is equal to 2, so balancing that, that gives us the value of mass is equal to 88,000 kilograms.